Good morning, this is Bruce and uh, welcome to my shop again. Uh, we're continuing on the build for uh, rotary positioner, um, both for welding and, and as a fixture for rotating around things like gearboxes and so forth that sometimes I have here uh, that are awkward and they can be uh, repositioned for different, uh, different works I do. Now, I had a, a positioner, a rotary table, uh, in fact you can probably see it right down the back there. Um, there's two face plates that I picked up from an auction some years ago. Uh, one of them is about 600 diameter and the other one is a meter diameter. Um, they, so it, I had, had set up on a, on a leg and on a, on a, a plate and uh, I had the um, that large one meter um, face plate on there and I use that as my surface plate <coughs> a jig set up for jigging things for welding and so forth I set it up with a with its with a drive uh, and um, a gearbox and a drive but I but I never actually wired it up and that was in 2011 I've come back to revisit that now because I have a couple of jobs there and uh, I've had quite a few in between, but every time it's been pushed aside, this, this project. So now um, I've spent the last few days uh, really getting stuck into getting this one uh, working. Uh, I've got most of the mechanicals, probably 98% of the mechanicals done, and I'm going to show you how all that goes together. And then the next stage will be the electrics, uh, and uh, once, uh, once that's done, and also maybe a few little pedantic things and maybe some stiffening to the frame. So what we've got here is we've got the frame uh, and this, this frame is, is, is based on a, on a sheet metal, uh, heavy sheet metal plate folded. It was actually made as a shelf um, for some of these mobile trolleys that I made. Um, I've taken two 50 by 25 or one inch by two inch uh, RHS thick walled, drilled and tapped them in a series of holes down here because I wasn't sure what height I actually needed to, um, I, I wanted it to be. So that was all drilled and tapped and on the side here you have the um, uh, the articulating uh, for uh, horizontal to vertical. It, previously it was built as a vertical, as, as a horizontal plate only. Now I'm doing it for both and uh, it'll, uh, what's I'll probably end up using the smaller uh, plate and flat and and um, a chuck as well to uh, to operate this. So what I've done is I've taken I found a very good quality uh, witch with a worm drive uh, that that was all part of this this system here, and I've cut that up, cannibalised it, taken away the um, the pulley, and um, and. And taken the took the gear off it, uh, and then I, I machined the gear out. It was cast iron this gear, and so I was going to just weld the boss onto it. But then when I um, uh, when I when I bored out the centre, I saw it was cast iron, so I have to go to Plan B. So Plan B was to make a bush, uh, which I did. I made this bush that slides in there, uh, four screws, and that ties that up, and that'll go on the shaft. Um, so that, that's providing me with the articulate uh, from, from, uh, uh, from, from vertical to horizontal or vice versa, whatever you like to call it. I will need to see then if there's any more stiffening to be done, whether it's completely self-locking because it's not a, a true um, uh, worm gear as such. It's a, it's a, it's a bit of a roughy. Uh, a roughy, but then again, it's got bearings on both sides. It's got thrust bearings on both sides of the worm, so it's pretty well made. Um, so then we come to the actual box itself, the, 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 the drive head. The only thing that exists from this drive head uh, is the original shaft. That, that was the original shaft. Uh, what I've done with the shaft is uh, I noted that I've made it up out of two pieces, but I can't remember back what, how or what. And there's one uh, there's one little pin in here, so I decided uh, yesterday to drill a hole and put a roll pin in just to give it extra. I've also machined down the small end because this was larger for the, the larger gear and I've gone for a smaller gear and I've left this little piece that's going to stick out of the gear which I may use uh, for an earth 
arrangement if I don't get a brush and, and a ring, which I'm going to find out today or not. So that's, the, that's part of the original, and the box is part of the original. Everything else has been made up over the last few days. Then what I've done is I've taken the box and I drilled a hole through it because we've got the, the, um, uh, the main shaft going this way. So I've drilled the box and I've made up a, a shaft uh, with, um, with a keyway on this end for, for the gear. So that, that'll, that'll be the drive uh, once I put it all together. So I've got a keyway, we've got the keyway inside here, everything else is ready to go. Um, and I also slotted it here. Now what I did was when I, when, I, when I put things together, I like to put them together with either tacks or, or bolts. And in future, after that, once I'm happy with the build, I then may go and weld it or I may enhance the bolting arrangement I made. In this case, what I've done is... Um, I'll just bring that down over there a bit, yeah. So what I've done here is I've, um, I don't know the paint's going to interfere, I drilled and tapped three holes and I used that to position and see how the whole thing worked. And so now I've cut a slot, I've cut a keyway slot in here and when I, when I mount that, uh, these three screws are going to uh, locate in here um, and I probably won't weld it on the end because every time you weld something you get some sort of deviation. You've got another process to go through afterwards to bring it back to true it up. So, and that will be more than enough to support the articulation because articulation in general will be from vertical to horizontal and it'll be set there while it's doing the job. Um, another process I went through, this is a little 20 to 1 gearbox. Uh, I machined off the main flange of it. Uh, I showed that as a tree panning um, exercise that I did and machined that off and that's, uh, that will be mounted uh, will be mounted here and then the motor, the motor the motor sticks out on the side the motor fits in here and, um, and, that, and that gives us the rotation uh, of, the, of the plate now the other part that's still from the old one was this main main flange which I used uh, which I used to adapt to the old D18 connection so through those holes I could screw straight into what was this, the D18 pins um, and uh, I think they're one inch in F or something like that and so that's how I connected the um, the main flange to, uh, to the shaft uh, via that uh, flange and then I've got on the side here as you can see uh, I got seven. I got all the bearings and everything. Um, so in the next, the next uh, video, uh, we'll we'll look at the process of putting it together. But it's, it comes out quite simple. Uh, the motor, the motor will screw up in here. Gearbox, gearbox comes in, in there. Shaft through. Articulating shaft this way. Uh, so I'll be back shortly uh, once I've pre-assembled part of this and we'll carry on with the next, uh, the next section.